One of the most frequent questions we're asked is how the various levels of NACE diver training relate to one another. Well, it's actually pretty simple. Your starting point is the NACE Open Water Diver Course. It begins with a comprehensive e-learning program that lets you master all of the important background knowledge when and where it's convenient for you. The next step is generally two half days of confined water training, which normally takes place in a swimming pool. Here you'll develop your fundamental diving skills. The final step is two days of open water training. This is where you get to put everything you've learned to work and actually go diving. Once you've completed all three steps, you'll get your NACE open water diver card. But that's just the beginning. You'll quickly discover that entry-level certification has its limits. For example, the recommended depth limit for recreational divers is 30 meters or 100 feet. Your basic open water diver training, however, only prepares you to dive to 20 meters or around 65 feet. So, as soon as you can, you're going to want to upgrade your basic open water card to an advanced open water diver card, and this will do a number of things for you. To start, it will more than double the amount of actual bottom time you have, going from 100 minutes over 250. Second, it will teach you the important skills of natural and compass navigation so that you can better find your way underwater. Third, it will teach you how to plan and make deeper dives, increasing your depth limit to the full 30 meters or 100 feet. As a bonus, you may receive an introduction to a number of enjoyable specialty diving activities, such as underwater photography, night or wreck diving. With your advanced open water card, you can take pride in being a fully trained entry-level diver. So what's next? Well, if you'd like to learn more about any of the specialized diving activities covered during your advanced course, you can enroll in a NACE specialty diver course on that topic or in any of a number of other topics such as nitrox, dry suit diving, and search and recovery. You should keep in mind, however, that while your entry-level training covered diver assists and basic self-rescue, it didn't cover everything there is to know about helping others. That's why you should also enroll in the NACE Rescue Diver Program. Now, what's involved here? Well, you'll want to make sure that your first aid and CPR certifications are up to date. You'll also want to take an oxygen provider course, as this is an important part of managing diving emergencies. The rescue diver course itself covers not only how to perform a number of diver rescues and assists, but more importantly, how to prevent your needing them in the first place. The final step in the process? Achieving the coveted NACE Master Scuba Diver Rating. Here you'll develop instructor-level knowledge in subjects such as the science of diving, diving equipment, and the aquatic environment. You'll also polish your diving skills to near perfection. But if this is not enough for you, there's even more. You can enroll in NACE Leadership Training, learning how to share your love of diving with others. You can also get involved in cave and technical diving, which is what the truly advanced divers do. All of these courses are available through the National Academy of Scuba Educators, the new wave in diver training.